Hello there. You know, it's funny. I've gone over my own channel over the last year since, when did I start this? 2017? I can't remember. Uh, it's an anniversary. I don't celebrate. There's no reason to. There's no uh, pomp and circumstance. I know a lot of other people like uh, getting all crazy on the anniversaries of their channels, but really we're just here to chat. It's not a big deal. Talk about the news. And after perusing it and looking at all the sources I've had, the only legitimate sources that I know of that have been right almost 100% uh, is Cameron Pasha and my friend Craig. There's one source that I used to follow from one blog to another, and He's been right maybe 40% of the time. And what bothers me is that people like that get traction with the fans because they spread negativity. And negativity often comes in the form of rumors. And it's not that I'm above posting a rumor, if it's interesting. However, uh, the last couple of days have really shown me that the fandom hasn't changed, okay? And it's sad. It really is sad. Uh, there are people within the fandom that have channels that are still looking at the world through 2018 eyes. And when you talk to people that are in the film industry, and I do know several, and you look at Wall Street, And you look at how um, the business is going, it's not good. And a lot of people out there just don't realize that they're caught in kind of a 2018 time warp. And I've said this before, I'll say this again. 2018 will always be the apex, the, the crescendo of wokeness. And we still are going to hear about it because... Uh, it's still there, but when you look at what Wall Street uh, is talking about, regardless of how woke you are, you're going to have to contend with the fact that investors, especially at Disney, are pissed off right now, okay? And if anybody thinks that Nelson Peltz is the only investor uh, rallying the troops against the evil empire, uh, you're wrong, okay? Because here's a, a name that you guys have forgotten. Dan Loeb, L-O-E-B, of the hedge fund Third Option, okay? He is part of the militant investors who want to get rid of the ESGs and want to get back to Disney making money again. And if you don't think considering the rumor about Daisy Ridley and these new movies that are coming out. Err! Not that there's ever been any official word about them, okay, uh, are true. You're a fucking idiot, okay? And you don't know anything about what's really going on. And your, your channel's become a bro party. This is about context and rumors and how the rumors about Daisy Ridley and these new films that are coming out uh, were not discussed with anybody on the inside. And I'm going to say there are some people that do actually do stuff for the film industry, but they're not as close to Hollywood and they need to be to understand what's really going on. Um, that the nuance and reality and the context is lost. When I watch videos like that, the last, the last two nights, I was astounded by the lack of 
logic, reason, intellectual discussion, and rationality behind it. It was like a bro party at a bar. That's all it was. And to me, that's not how you do things like this. And it's, it's not professional either. Okay, where's the context as far as the econo economics of it, of this are? And these are people who do business. Okay, and the fact of the matter is, anybody who took the time to actually look to see that this was nothing more than rumor and speculation is going to be looking at this going, what the fuck are you talking about then? Okay, you have to have somebody like, okay, I'll say my, da my friend Dan Watanabe, who is a former industry insider. He's still in Los Angeles. He still talks to people in the industry. Kamran, of course, and others who are inside the bubble. Okay, not people who are in the industry, but outside the bubble, but inside the bubble actually doing the work to tell you what's really going on. And you cannot continue with this idea that 2018 never ended, that we're in a never-ending SJW Groundhog Day. Okay. The fact of the matter is, these are, again, rumors out of context with no nuance, no real discussion with somebody of the caliber of Kamran Pasha, Dan Watanabe, or any of these people, okay? And the contacts that are, are being touted are not people that are really involved. I wouldn't doubt that they're merely people that are fans, okay? That's probably just it. And the, and the fandom deserves better than this constant barrage of negativity and bullshit, okay? And look, if you want to be Bat Boy uh, and report Bat Boy on Weekly World News, go ahead. But don't sell yourself as a, uh, a news purveyor um, of anything that's worthwhile for people to take away good stuff with. Okay, you understand? Again, Grand Admiral Thrawn is mentioned heavily in the Ahsoka episode of Mandalorian Season 2. That is enough to kill this rumor right there because apparently, according to, I don't know, the garbage man at, you know, Disney World, they're not going that way. I don't know, okay? Meanwhile, People who actually know what the fuck they're talking about, who've only been wrong once, but the Chapek thing caught everybody off guard. Uh, and even the people that are being jackasses about it. Um, and they still can't quite explain that, and I'll probably do a live video about that too, um, are being frozen out. I'm sick of it. It's time for the fandom to look very strongly and very critically at the constant rumor mongering because, look, I don't like being used. And this is why I don't, you know, have a, a, a Patreon or anything else like that. And the reason why I don't is because what, I'm, what, I, what can I say on Patreon that I can't say here? Okay. All right. And really, I, I don't think information should be sold. I think it's, it should be just there for people to discuss. And if you're going to do rumors and speculation, you shouldn't hide that, 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 that guideline way down in a description. Okay, I, I just... I guess I'm really upset about it because I see the fans upset and I see good people not being listened to again. Okay, so if we're going to do 2018 over again and then make sure everybody gets disappointed, but damn it, everybody who's got a, a pay-as-you-go uh, YouTube is going to make a lot of money. That sickens me. Meanwhile, the fandom suffers and the franchise suffers.
Okay. And we allow people who light us all down. Gina Carano and the SJWs that tortured her at Lucasfilm to get away with it. This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. There aren't enough scoundrels in your life. I happen to like nice men. Nice men.